guys, today I have a Sephora haul for you and actually I only bought one item and that is this one big guy. It's a Sephora's favorite collection. This one is called Beauty Closet and it is $99. And of course I redeemed some of my points and got some free samples and whatnot. So let me just show you what's included in this box. So this box is quite big and it opens up like this. So it just has this plastic thing that holds all the products and it has those little pentings on the side. It's kind of cute. Let me take all the products out now. First, we have an Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. So I've heard a lot of people talking about this product, but I've never tried it before. So I'm kind of interested to try it out myself. It doesn't, it doesn't really smell like anything and it's kind of on the creamier side I would say it looks like the texture is almost a little bit whipped so I think for eye cream that size is really good deal then I have a Stila convertible color in the color peony and I've never tried a Stila convertible color either so I'm really excited to give this a try and here's a quick swatch of it it's kind of on the nudie side um, a little pinky a little brown so I think that would be nice for both the lips and the cheeks. So I'm really excited to give that a try. Then we have a full size eyeshadow from Sephora collection. This is in the color Mira Mira. It looks like it's a very sparkly purple-ish silver metallic shade. Let me give you a swatch. It feels all right. It's not the most silky or smooth colors out there. Um, and I would say the color payoff is just okay because this color is much more intense compared to the swatch on my hand. Also, it swatches much better on my finger, if you could tell. So I'll have to try that on my lids and maybe with the help of a primer, it will work a little better. Then we have this little Bite Beauty BB for Lips in the color Flush. This is really, really small. Let's see. It looks like it's very sheer, almost like a lip balm right there. So it really doesn't look like it's anything or it's supposed to give a lot of color. I don't think so. So I think I'll just use it as a lip balm. Then we have a sample size Lancome Lip Lover. And I really couldn't read the shade name down here. It's too small. Maybe I would look it up online and then write it up here for you. Anyways, let me give you a swatch. Ooh, I like this color. It's a raspberry kind of intense pink shade. It's probably gonna go well on the lip look I have today. I like it. It feels very comfortable too. Um, it's not sticky and it kind of feels it's moisturizing. We'll see. I like it so far. Then there is a micro beauty blender. I have heard a lot of people talking about this, but to be honest, I'm not too interested. It's just, it's so small. What are you going to do with it? Well, maybe to set the under eye concealer. I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical about it. Then we have a Bare Minerals Ready Touch Up Veil, and it has SPF 15 and seen the color translucent. So recently I was trying to pan the loose powder form of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and I didn't like that very much because I think it gave me kind of a um, white cast but hopefully this one will work a little better. Let's see. It doesn't feel like it's a softest. It's a little patchy of a swatch on my hand. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe it will be different once it's on your face and I have to try that out. This is something I already have. It's Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and I'm not gonna swatch it just because I already have one of those. I think it's a little bit too dark for me and it has a little bit of a shimmer. So it's not one of my favorite products, but I do want to use up the one I already have, and this one I probably would just give it to someone, so I would not swatch it for you. Then there is a full-size Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And does it have a color? Maybe it's in the color Nude, I think. 
I have heard a lot of good things about this maybe a few years ago and I just never caved in and bought it so I'm really excited to finally be able to try this guy. Then there's a sample size Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream and it has SPF 35 and I have it in the color light medium so I think that's nice. I do have quite a few tinted moisturizer and BB creams right now. I think they will all come handy because my baby is due late July, so I think during the summertime or maybe in the first couple months, I wouldn't be able to use a whole lot of makeup. And BB creams are kind of easy. I can just use them kind of like a moisturizer, and that way I can still have a somewhat presentable face, I guess. This one is really exciting. I got a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. So there's so much hype about Becca and I have never tried it before. And to be honest, part of the reason is I just don't want to buy the full size because liquid shimmering products, I just feel it's gonna take me like forever to use up. So I never really wanted to pay for the full price for the full size product. So this one would be perfect for me to try. Then there's a Olay Herrickson Truth Serum Collagen Booster. So this one is very well rated by people too. So I'm really excited. I can try that out. It's a vitamin C serum and it's supposedly, it will do a lot of amazing things to your face. I've never tried a vitamin C type products before, neither you know serum or moisturizer or anything like that. So I'm really excited. There's a Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So this one is really nice because I definitely need a brow gel right now and I just haven't bought one yet. Let's see. Is this supposed to be kind of dry like this? I don't know. I've never tried any Anastasia brow products, so I think this will be a good start. A Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. I have had a full size before sometime last year and I remember I really loved it. I really wanted to buy the full size again but I have so many mascaras in my collection so I just I've been waiting and this is perfect to get a sample size. Then there's a sample size Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is also a star product. I think so many people talked about this but I've never tried it before so this is really nice and maybe you guys have already figure out the theme here. There are a lot of products that are really famous and really well talked about on YouTube and most of them I have never tried so I think well I'm just really excited and maybe you're tired of hearing me saying it but it's just the truth. I haven't tried most of the products in here and I'm really excited. There is a full-size Formula X nail polish in the color Fahrenheit it's a deeper wine-ish color red polish and I think it'll be nice. It's not a typical color that I would go for, but I'm not against it by any means. A sample size Josie Moran Argan Oil. So I probably wouldn't use this on my face just because my face is really oily and acne prone. So I would probably use it on my hair and you could use Argan Oil a lot of different ways, maybe on my belly to, to prevent stretch mark too. So I think that's really nice. A sample size julep top coat, and I think this one is Freedom Top Coat. Yeah, so I have used a full size of this before. I do really like the effect that it gives, um, but I just couldn't buy it. I think julep nail polishes or any products from julep, if you buy them full price, compared to the size of the product, it's just ridiculously expensive. So having a sample size that comes with a kit, I think that's a good deal. I have a little bit of an accident with my roller ball perfume. So the roller ball, the actual ball on top, is stuck in the cap. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe I'll see if I can get that out. If not, that will be a tragedy. We'll see what happens with that. Here I have a Living Proof Prime Style Extender. So it says it's, it locks in your style longer, weightless, perfecting, weatherproofing, time saving. I guess it's just a styling cream and it's sealed. I'm not too sure. I probably would give this to someone just because I never style my hair. The very last product here is 
from Modster. Never heard of the brand before. This is a Smooth Right Supercharged Eyeliner in the color gold. Whoa, that's really gold. It's kind of a grassy, kind of almost green tinge gold. It's interesting. I don't think I have an eyeliner quite that color, so I will be interested to give that a try. So I think overall, I really like this box. It's definitely a good value. The only things I don't care for is this styling cream from Living Proof and also this bronzer just because I have one already. And other than that, well, unfortunately, I have a little dud for the rollerball perfume, but I think everything else is just so worth it. $99, I got to try so many different good products, I guess. Um, a lot of them are very well rated by people, so I'm definitely excited to test all of them out. Then I redeemed my 100 point perk and I got a little sprayer perfume from Fresh. This is in the scent Sugar Lemon. And it just looks like this. I have never tried it and I don't know, it just, I am kind of interested in my perfumes right now again and I just want to try new scents. And this one, I kind of looked it up online and then the description kind of interests me. So we'll see how that goes. It smells really fresh and really lemony, um, not in the kitchen kind of lemony scent, but a little bit like floral and lemon. So I think that will be really nice. Lastly, I just have three free samples. First, I got a Alginist eye cream. And I think whenever I can get an eye cream, I always go for it because they're good value. And I think this is the same one as the one that's included in this kit as well. Then I get a regenerating mask from Christopher Robin. Looks like this, and I think it's interesting. I've never heard of the brand before, and this will be a good size mask. Maybe I can even get like two uses out of it. Well, we'll see about that. So I'm really excited to give any masks a try at any time. Lastly, we have a perfume sample. This is from the brand Penrose, and it's in the scent Treehouse Royal. So this one I am a little bit disappointed at. I thought this would get me a little sprayer bottle, but actually it's just kind of like a toilet that's included inside. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, like wipe it on myself and be done with it. I would rather have a little sprayer bottle. But anyways, I think man, I can try out the scent at least, I guess. So that's everything I got from this Sephora order. And I'm really excited about most of the products that are included in here, and I can't wait to give them a try. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.